Hi, I'm Julie from Pelagetia Truffles and in today's video we're going to look at how you can hunt for the white winter truffle. Now let's be honest, when most people start truffling or when most people think about truffles, this is the truffle that they're thinking of. The Tubo Magnatum Pico, the only truffle which cannot be cultivated. It's the most aromatic, the most valuable, the most highly prized, the precious white winter truffle. Now there are several misleading names for this truffle. It's sometimes known as the Alba truffle after the region Alba in Piemonte. Also it's called the Italian winter truffle. However it grows in several other regions besides Piemonte or Alba and it also grows in different countries besides Italy. So these names are pretty inaccurate. We'll be referring to it as the white winter truffle. So let's have a look at how you can go about finding this very rare, very expensive truffle. It's actually not that difficult. So where do white truffles grow? Well, they grow in around 10 regions in Italy and from Italy they grow off towards the east, so Croatia, Serbia, reaching as far east as Romania and then north up until Hungary, Slovenia. As old truffle locations are being lost due to deforestation and possibly climate change, new ones are being discovered. Until a few decades ago, outside of Italy, the value of the white truffle was not really appreciated. However, this has changed within the past years and people are starting to hunt all over Europe. Climate change does appear to be affecting truffle distribution and white truffles are turning up in northern European countries. They have been documented in Switzerland and there are rumours at the moment that truffles have been found in Poland. The problem here is that a lot of this information is secret. It makes sense that you're not going to tell people that you found uh, white truffles because hunters will descend upon the place. However, a lot of people have difficulty keeping information in private, so do your research on social media. As we said before, it's a tendency among hunters to brag. In addition to social media, um, academic papers will also give you a good idea of what's going on in your country with regard to white truffles and what truffles have been discovered. You can also check on the biodiversity network if there have been any uh, officially documented findings. This will give you an idea of where to start looking. If you've watched our previous videos about hunting for truffles, then you know that you need to do some research before you start wandering blindly around in forests. What you need to research for are the various growth factors. Now, I can't be more specific here because these will vary from country to country. always found in damp areas. What you're typically looking for are uh, floodplain forests. So white truffles are never found at sea level. They'll be at an elevation of between 70 meters up to 700, depending on the country, depending on the region. Now, soil. This is usually uh, calcium rich and it can vary. It can be a rich loamy type of soil or it can be something more silty. Now, this is the reason why truffles can vary in appearance. Uh, you're told that you know, the Alba truffles are the golden ones. This is not true. This is all down to the soil type. Loamy soils will produce a darker coloured truffle, whereas the more golden types tend to be found in the sandy or the silty soils.
composition of this soil is excellent. This fine, silty soil. This is typical of the type of soil where you would find the uh, tuber magnatum. The right composition of um, sand and silt. And I've not tested it, but I know it probably is calcium rich because white truffles do grow here. So to go exploring for truffles, obviously you need a truffle dog. If you have already trained your dog to hunt for black truffles, then you should be good to go. If you haven't, then you can buy a ready trained dog. Now, these will cost anywhere between three and eight thousand euros, depending on the experience of the dog and where you live. But when you buy a truffle dog, the trainer will take you out with the dog to prove its worth. However, bear in mind that this is usually rigged and the truffle trainer won't be actually showing you any truffle locations. These are things that you have to do yourself. The truffle dog is not the problem. They're easy to train. It's finding the actual truffles and this is what's going to take time and effort on your part. So I'm not going to lie to you, uh, hunting for white truffles is hard work. The conditions can be hellish, it's cold, it's damp, it's dark, you're constantly getting scratched. But you can minimise the misery with like some good equipment. You need to have strong, tough uh, trousers with good knees because you're going to be kneeling down in the mud. They should be waterproof. And of course you need strong, comfortable boots. Again, these should be waterproof and preferably woolen socks. Look after your feet when you're hunting. The other equipment you might need, a pair of gloves, just some general like gardening gloves because you're going to be getting your hands pretty dirty. And your vanghetto, this is a special hoe for digging truffles. You can see it's got a sharp little point here for tackling, lifting up uh, roots. Um, and basically that's it. To hunt for white truffles, you need to be able to stand quite a degree of discomfort and of course to tolerate high levels of frustration because very few people actually go out and find a truffle the first, the second or even the third time they go looking for one. White truffles are highly erratic. The seasons can vary wildly from one year to the next. Uh, remember that you're dealing with uh, nature and unpredictable force. So while it is frustrating, eventually it will be rewarding. Keep at it. You're going to have fun with your dog. You're going to be getting stronger, uh, both mentally and physically, and learning about some of the very hidden aspects of nature. And then one day you'll suddenly be hit by the smell and realize that you found your very first white truffle. So just digging slowly and carefully the earth around the truffle, you can see the white part peeping out. Trace very carefully around it, you don't want to break it. Once you've broken a truffle it's kind of halved in value straight away so the key is to try and keep it intact. Jane, here's Jane watching. Okay, so here, this is about probably about 60 grams. Smells absolutely amazing, just at the ground. Well done, Jane. 